I've been trying to figure out why liraglutide is on the shortage list when there's a generic available. It was the first GLP-1 to go generic, and I assume there'd be a huge rush from the manufacturers to get it to market. We're in the middle of a huge boom for GLP-1s, and being able to reach consumers with a low-cost generic seemed like something they'd all want. That just hasn't been the case. Right now, only two companies offer the generic, and that means price hasn't been driven down the way I expected. I saw today that another generic manufacturer, Biocon, just got theirs approved in India, too. Uh, so I guess it's good that they have a product. Uh, I haven't seen that they're trying to bring that to the U.S. yet. I also know with Liraglutide specifically, there was a six-month generic exclusivity deal, which meant only one company was able to produce it. They were charging brand name prices, unfortunately, so I'm glad that's over. And prices have come down just a little bit, but they're still too high. Luckily, if these manufacturers aren't going to compete, at least that means it will stay on the shortage list where it can be compounded much cheaper and we finally have it available right now. Go to forestpark.pharmacy to check out what we have. See ya.